Planet Dolan. From failed backflips to centaur organs, the Planet Dolan crew reenacts some of the best true stories from our subreddit about the dumbest ways we've tried to start a conversation. I'm Danger Dawn, and today I'll be on the right Number 10 was submitted by Bonnie101YT. Mimi was very shy and awkward in middle school. She was trying to work out of it. So one day she hyped herself up and said to herself, Okay Mimi, you have to talk to people and not be shy as shit. Her first attempt was to go up to a girl she didn't know and try and start a conversation. She had no idea what to say, but she had to say something. So she said in the dumbest voice she could come up with, Hey, like your tits. Soon everyone was looking at Mimi and laughing, and the girl she was trying to befriend looked like she wanted to die. Mimi was called Tit Girl for the rest of the year. Number 9 was submitted by Joy Otaku15. Ladybot went to an event where all the clubs advertised themselves for new members. There was an LGBT club and Ladybot was interested in joining. She went up to the booth and wanted to make an impression, so instead of just shaking their hand, she shook their hand and yelled, Hey, I'm Ladybot. You gay piece of retard llama. The person smiled politely as their eyes went wide with fear. Ladybot realized right then that it was just a bit too random. She just quickly signed her name and email and walked quietly to the next booth. To be fair, that does sound like something Ladybot would say, so... Number 8 was submitted by Play Nice 9001 Back in freshman year high school, Hellbent joined the school's cross-country team. He was a bit shy at first, so he didn't say anything until they'd finished their run of doing stretches. His first impression of his teammates came when he looked around the hall during stretches and said, I can see 10 different ways to kill you. Out loud and to no one in particular. It was an awkward first practice. Number 7 was submitted by It's Brianna Cat. Melissa tried to start a conversation with the new girl at school. She was from the south, so Melissa, trying to be considerate, said, Howdy, madam. Like she was a cowboy or a country singer. The girl didn't appreciate it. She told the principal and Melissa got suspended for making fun of a student. Number six was submitted by Salami Gamer 1909 Nick Sian was in an elevator to go to his father's office when the elevator stopped suddenly. Awkwardly, there was just one other guy in the elevator and the silence was heavy. Nixon felt like he had to strike up a conversation with the guy, but couldn't decide on what to say. So his brain mashed everything together and said, It's, uh, it's nice to be stuck in an elevator, like you. The man just looked at him and awkwardly said, Um, okay. Luckily, the elevator started to move shortly after that, and Nixium could not get out of the door fast enough. Number five was submitted by that nerd in class. Gurgak was eating lunch with a few co workers, and one of them started talking about how gross peanut butter actually is and the gross stuff that goes into making it. Gurgak started to think of topics to change the subject and practically screamed, Do centaurs have two sets of organs? Everyone just stared at him, and McCallum was about to scold him for yelling. But Gugak whispered to him, Do you want your favorite foods ruined? Or do you want to distract him with mythology? Mikhailov nodded and added to the conversation, Yeah, and I mean they would also have two rib cages, right? This caused Peanut Butter Guy to stop his food rant and instead begin a rant about how he doesn't understand what the fuck a centaur does to function. Everybody got to eat their lunch peacefully until he started talking about the centaur reproduction process. Number 4 was submitted by Tay Tay Hyung. Spincess was desperate to impress a guy, Nudge Nudge Tolop, who didn't really like her, mostly because she was socially awkward and had very few friends. Her seat was next to his in English class, so she saw he liked visual games because of a binder with a link on it. Spincess decided to make a stupid pun to break the ice and start a conversation, so she gathered up her courage and said, what, what did Zelda say to Link when he couldn't open the door? <laughs> Triforce! He scoffed out a small laugh. And they've been friends ever since. Number 3 was submitted by Doop Bloody. When Doopy was around 6, her family went to Toronto for the summer. On the plane, she found herself sitting with her sister and a total stranger. Doopy was a pretty social kid, so she tried to start a conversation with him. She said hi, but the stranger was reading a book and ignored her. She tried again a couple more times, but he wouldn't acknowledge her. Doopy got very frustrated, gave him a little nudge in the shoulder. Hi. Still didn't say anything. 
She had very little patience for being ignored. So she slapped the book out of the guy's hands and screamed, Why won't you talk to me? Number two was submitted by Sumikara Nakia. One day, James Shark was walking with a new girl at school, but neither of them seemed to have anything to say. There was an awkward silence, and James Shark's best idea for a conversation starter was to run up a concrete wall to do a backflip. When he landed, he fractured his left ankle and had a giant scrape from his thigh down to his ankle. The girl just stood there in shock. Needless to say, they didn't talk much for the rest of the year. Number one was submitted by me. It was the dumbest way I've tried to start a conversation. Well, if you guys knew me in real life, you'd know that I'm socially retarded. And so back in the day when I was a little kid and at school, I mean, you guys knew the saga about how I used to collect grass and have little piles. And it's like my kingdom of grass. Well, one of the few times I tried to talk to a girl, you know, these, these girls, these beings from other worlds that you can't even get near without being infected or something. Well, you know, I, I went up to her. She's just kind of sitting on her own, this girl. You know, at the time, I thought I should share an interest of mine. And so I, I, I went up to her and I said, I really like grass. She looked at me like I was a fucking enigma. And she just walked away. So that was quite rude. Like, you know, I, she could have offered something in return. She could have been like, I like knives or something. And you know, I wouldn't have looked at her too crazy. I think I was treated unfairly in that situation. Sure, we were only like eight years old, but still, stand by my grass. I think it was a good hobby at the time. In case you guys didn't know, Planet Dolan at Supernova, Adelaide and Brisbane, November 2nd to 4th and 9th to 11th. We're going to be doing a Q&A about PD, art and life on YouTube. If you guys have any questions you'd like us to answer on stage, use the Reddit link down below or just comment in a reply. Check out the latest Dolan card update, Nixiumville. A new character, heaps of new skins, a new power up, new level, daily missions, and offline mode. Download from the Android or iOS app store and start racing today for free. That's it for this video. And have a good one.